Soundproof room, so we can start the game, ladies. <laughs> and a reminder, gentlemen, in round one, we'll be asking you some five point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. Now, remember, if her answer matches your prediction, you get five points, and each correct answer brings you that much closer to that fabulous second honeymoon. So the ladies are gone, and here we go with your first question. Gentlemen, when it comes to your future lovemaking sessions, what will your wife say is easier to predict? Exactly when it will happen, exactly where it will happen, or exactly what will happen. Which is easiest to predict, Robert? I'm going to have to say it's the easy one is going to be uh, where it's going to happen, because we actually uh, have a roommate, and it never happens out in the uh, dining room in the kitchen. It's always going to be in the bedroom. Uh, Mark? <laughs> um, I'm going to say when it's going to happen. Um, that's easy to predict? Pretty much, because it happens uh, whenever we need it to happen, and whenever I'm ready for it to happen. So it happens when it's going to happen. Right? <laughs> They don't have to be where. Exactly, we, where it will happen. Because we got some, a little kid. All little right, baby. fine. Lamont. Uh, I would say where because we're, we're pretty, uh, uh, we're not very risky as far as where. You're we're, very you know. traditional. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. Next question, gentlemen. What will your wife admit is the one thing she does that brings to your mind the phrase trailer trash? Mark, that brings to your mind trailer trash. Leave dishes in the sink constantly overnight for weeks at a time. Whenever for weeks at a time? Well, it might be a bit of an exaggeration, but it stays. If I don't do it, then it stays. It doesn't get done. Do it. Wonderful. Rob? Uh, I'd have to be uh, laying around with the TV controller on the couch. Lays around the couch with the old remote thing. Right. All right. Lamont, well, something she, that uh, she does that brings to your mind the phrase trailer trash. I would say uh, leaving her clothes around. She just takes her clothes she's off. She's a slob. And, and, uh, well, she's not a slob. She just she's not messy. Uh, okay, let's go with messy. Let's go with messy. I'm going to have to say it's the way that she organizes her clothes because the closet is just crammed in there. There's only about a foot of space, but there's like... So one thing she the way she organizes her clothes. All right, next question, gentlemen. How will your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. If my wife is ever cast in a big-budget Hollywood movie with explicit love scenes, I sure hope... They use a body double when they zoom in on her blank. Right? <laughs> oh, boy. Butter thighs. Butter thighs. Yeah, okay. Lamont. Uh, I would say her forehead. Zoom in on her forehead. <laughs> Very safe answer. Robert. Uh, I'm going to have to say her uh, rear end. On her rear end. Mark. Uh, I'm going to say her breast. She calls them chichas. Whatever they are, we'll take it. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be right back to reunite the newlyweds, and we'll see how well Join me, Bob Eubanks, for my picks from Card Sharks. That's Dave Hollywood Square, Family Feud, and the Newlywed Day. It's the best of Bob during Bobtober on Buzzer. It starts Monday at 8. your predictions on cards and now have them in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. The one couple with the most points at the end of the show wins that great second honeymoon. So ladies, it's nice to have you back with us. And here's our first question for five points. Ladies, when it comes to your future lovemaking sessions, which of these is easiest to predict? Exactly what will happen, exactly when it will happen, or exactly where it will happen? What's the easiest to predict, Janae? Um, I would have to say where it will happen. It's easy to predict where it's going to happen. Yes, pretty much How so. How come? That's not boring. It's not boring. It's not boring. <laughs> All right. Lamont said it's easy to predict uh, exactly where it will happen. Yeah. Uh, where does it happen? Usually in the bed, Bob. Oh, good. 
usually in the Boy, he's a creative sucker, isn't he? Yeah. He is creative, okay. though. Oh, I see. He makes it very creative. Oh, good. <laughs> I would also say where it would be. It's going to be easy. It's pretty quick. It's going to happen. Yes, because well, we have a big house. But well, congratulations. <laughs> Ron predicted you say it's going to be exactly where it will happen. Yes. Nicole. That's easy. It would be what will happen because it's always the same. It's the same. <laughs> you mean he's not very creative? Maybe he ought, he ought to talk to Lamont down here. Now, Lamont, uh -oh. he's, he's creative. Yeah. We need to talk to him now. When you guys go off to the South Road, fill him in. I'll take care of it. Okay. I got Mark said it's exactly to predict uh, when it will happen. Oh. Not what will happen. Oh. Colleen? Um, I'm going to definitely have to say where. This is because there's no question about it. He always jokes about my lack of creativity and it's always in the same place. So I'm definitely going to have to say where. Always where? Out of the backyard, huh? No. <laughs> Robert predicted you would say it's uh, exactly where. Yeah. Tell me, what is the one thing you do that brings to your husband's mind the phrase trailer trash? Something you do, Dana, that brings to his mind trailer trash. I collect junk. You yeah, collect I junk. Like All collect right. Everything. Rob says the one thing you do that brings to mind trailer trash is you lay around on the couch with the remote. <laughs> Nicole? I, I'm a mess. I, um, I don't clean the dishes. You don't clean the dishes. Mark predicted you would say the one thing is that you leave the dishes in the sink for <laughs> Nicole, he said you leave the dishes in there for weeks. I don't leave the dishes. You know, if, if if I don't clean the dishes, then the dishes stay. So if I leave them for weeks, then you definitely will leave them for weeks. Yeah. But I refuse that's to true. leave them for weeks. Yeah, that's true. That's right. So they actually never stay for weeks. Call him. This one's pretty hard because I think I'm pretty good about most things about keeping up. So I'm going to have to say maybe I'm lazy on the weekend. You're lazy, all right. He predicted yeah. you to say the one thing reminds him, no, is you organize your, your, your clothes. <laughs> yeah. All right, Janae? Well, Bob, um, I'm not really, I'm not really. Well, he had an answer so fast. I, I had to, well, he had, I couldn't think of it. He had several answers. I had to pin him down to one answer. I, I mean, said, the whole time while we were doing this, I was sitting here thinking, I can't think trailer of trash. because I'm not. That's yeah, he had an answer though. But I'll just go ahead and come up with something. Why don't you do that? I'll just come up Good. with something. It makes the show say, easier because I got another question. I think, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I would have to say um, probably that I, when I'm during the week, I'm yeah. really, really tired from working. Sure. So what I do is instead of hanging my clothes up, I just throw them up on top of the door. You throw your clothes Every, on the door. And the, at right. the end of the week, there's a week's worth of clothes. I said, Lamont predicted you would say the one thing that reminds you of Trader Trash, you leave your clothes everywhere. No! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies. ladies, how did your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking. He said, if my wife is ever cast in a big budget Hollywood movie with explicit love scenes, I sure hope they use a body double when they zoom in on her blank. <laughs> Fill out the blank for me. Nicole, they better use a body double when they zoom in on your... Oh, God, it could be a couple of things. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to have to say... My feet. Your feet? Yeah. All right. He said body double when they zoom in on your boots. You're constantly that was, complaining. Yeah, that, that was actually going to be the one. When right you said there. a couple of things, I thought you had it right. I really did. Colleen. <laughs> 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 um, probably the one thing that I don't like about myself as well as him is my behind. My your behind. Yeah. He said when they yeah. zoom in on your yeah. rear yeah. end. That's it. Go ahead. Go Probably two things, but right. I'll just choose one. Why don't you do it that? It could be either the boobs. Now or you're just going to choose one. Now which one are you going to choose? My forehead. Forehead. He said it would be. Forehead. Uh, zoom in on your forehead. Oh. Dana, what do you think he said? I'm sure, he had a few answers, but well, he I did, think yes, he's going to say my thighs. Let's see if he said your thighs. He said on her thighs. Yes. Okay. We'll be back to show when the last you predict what the husband will say right after his message. It's your turn to predict what they will say. Remember, these questions are now worth 10 points. First one. 
Ladies, in which of these positions will your husband say, he looks the sexiest? Kneeling, squatting, or standing? Nicole, where does he look the sexiest? I would say kneeling. He looks the sexiest kneeling. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Dana? I would have to say kneeling just because of the different positions. <laughs> the sexiest from my point of view? <laughs> Today. I always have to say standing. standing. He's a pretty sexy guy. All right. Colleen? He's always worried about his stomach, so I figure standing is Standing, yeah. All right, ladies, next question now. At exactly what age will your husband say a woman goes from being a hot babe to a ma'am? <laughs> Dana, what age? I would say 27, because that's when I have my baby, so. Uh, are you are you a ma'am then? Uh, yeah. I oh, guess you're now. not a hot I'm babe anymore? Apparently not. I just have to get a baby then. Huh. Just go for a does he think you're a hot babe? I hope he does. He does he, better. Like, he likes the way you dress and likes the way you all that? No, he wants me to be a little more conservative. <laughs> Why? He doesn't like uh, other people looking. But he'll he'll look at other people. They dress provocative, but yeah. he doesn't want me to do that. He doesn't want you to dress provocative? No. He doesn't I mean, want like you have see-through shoes on. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Janae, at what age does a woman go from being a hot babe to a ma'am? I'm the wrong one to ask answer that question. Why? Because I plan on being, uh, what is it, a hot mama? No, a hot babe. A hot babe. So you can be a hot mama if you want to. <laughs> I plan on being a hot babe up until my 50s. So I'm going to say, what can you want to up and keep it in shape? So I'm going to say maybe 50. 50, all right, good. Oh, uh, let's see, uh, Colleen? Ooh, this one's really tough. He, because he likes young women, but I'm gonna have to say 40. 40. Yeah. Nicole. I'm gonna have to say 35. 35. Next question, ladies. How will your husband say you would answer this question? This is you talking. I hope our children have my family's blank, and that his family is what skips a generation. Janae. Mm, I hope that um, our children have my family's. Good looks. Good looks, because his are ugly. No, they're not. Oh, yeah, but he it's has sort good looking, He has good looking people. Yeah, I, just, I understand. Yeah. I just, it's okay. not all of them. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we always skip a generation with his family's what? Um, With his family's height. Height. That's Let's a see. bad answer. Yeah, it is. But that's all I could come up with. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, you're in first place, so you're doing fine guessing the way you went so far. Okay, Colleen. Um, he's conscious about his hair, so probably want my family's hair. And we're going to skip and, a generation with his family's hair. Yeah, butt. and he doesn't like his nose. Nose. Yeah. Okay, Nicole. My family's legs. Legs. Skip and a generation with his family's what? Waistline. Waistline. Ugly. Dana. Uh, my family's looks. Looks, yeah. And his family's... Uh, We're gonna skip a generation. Personality? No, no, no personality. Huh? <laughs> All right, here is our 25 point bonus question. Ladies, in the bathroom, farthest from your bedroom, will your husband say the seat is more often up or down? Colleen? It's definitely down. It's down. Nicole? Down. Down. Dana? It is down. Down. Jode? Up. Up. All right, ladies, thank you very much. We'll be right back with the husband now to see how well the ladies have predicted what they will say right after these words. <laughs> Some points, Lamont and Janae, you're out there in front with 15 points. Let's see how long you can hang on to that lead. Remember now, we're going to see how well the wives have predicted what you guys will say, and these questions are now worth 10 points. And here's our first one. Gentlemen, in which of these positions do you think you look the sexiest? Standing, kneeling, or squatting? Rob? I'd have to be standing. Standing. She said, you look the sexiest kneeling. Oh, what are you talking about? In the position of person, you look so sexy when you do that? Oh, kneel. In the position, well, when they're making Never mind. <laughs> you devil, you Rob, I'll tell you what. Mark? Standing. Standing. She said, you look the sexiest kneeling, Mark. <laughs> what? Does it have to do with that position? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because I mean, when I like you're kneeling, in front of you, but when you're kneeling, you know. It no, I don't know, and that's okay. Well, when I'm standing, you know, I stretch it out a little bit. <laughs> we got a little gut thing going. Just a little bit. Oh, I understand. <laughs> Robert, I'm going standing. Standing. She said, "You look the sexiest standing." Yeah. Okay. Lamont's going to 
going to say, he said, all three, Bob. I know what you're thinking, Lamont. <laughs> Which one, Lamont? Uh, I would say standing. Standing, all right. Your wife said uh, standing. <laughs> all right, next question. Tell me, at exactly what age would you say a woman goes from being a hot babe to a ma'am? Mark? 29. 29. 35, she said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 How old is your wife? How old is your wife? Uh, my wife is 24. So she's still a hot babe then? Definitely. Okay. Robert? I'm going to go for 30 just because I'm 29. It's right about there. I'm hoping it's, I'm guessing 30. You're guessing 30? Your wife said that, no, 40, pal. Ooh. 40. Ooh. She goes to my... I'm going to say yeah. 30, too. <laughs> Let me check with Lamont about this. Lamont, what do you think? Now, uh, age. Now, you're an expert on women, I, I, I assume. Uh, I, would, I would like to think so. Yes. Uh, you know a lot about women, I assume. I, I know a, yeah. one or two things. Been with yeah. a lot of women in your life. Well, I don't know about all that. <laughs> but, but, uh, one or two. One or two, I assume. How old is a man, I would say? 50? 50. She said it would be... Wow. How long do you think that you, she's going to be a, a hot babe? Oh, she's going to be a hot babe forever. See? Right? <laughs> Rob, what do you think about this? I think uh, you're about done when you turn 30. <laughs> I think I ought to come over there and shock the hell out of you. <laughs> All right, she said 27. Well, oh. I have the baby, so I thought they even... Now, oh. now, your wife dresses like a hot babe. Yeah, oh. she's got about two good years left. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, man. Gentlemen, how did your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking. I hope our children have my family's blank and that his family's what skips a generation. Robert, she hopes that your children have her family's... Uh, good morals. Good morals, and, and your family skips a generation when it comes to what? <laughs> uh, gosh, uh, gambling. Gambling, all right. She, no, she wants, she wants your children to have her family's hair, and they want to skip a generation when it comes to your family's nose. Oh, you complain about you're your right. nose. You're, you're right. Oh, my you're goodness. Right. You're right. Yeah, don't point, Robert, please. <laughs> you hope, or she hopes, mm -hmm. your children have her family's what? Kindness? Kindness. Oh, what a neat answer. <laughs> and, and we skip a generation when it comes to your families. Uh, skip a generation with my family's uh, mischievous. Mischievous. Okay. She said uh, uh, she wants the children to have her family's good looks. And let's just skip it when it comes to your family's height. Baby, I'm sorry. I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> Now, we were talking about how ugly his family is. No, was. we didn't. Everybody in his family looks like him. Good. Don't yeah. think he's ugly. He's not. No. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Rob. I'm going to go with her family's style. Style. Good style. And my family's uh, education. Skip it when it comes to your family's education. All right. She said we're going to get her family's looks, and we're going to skip it when it comes to your family's personality. <laughs> Yeah, Mark, what do you think? Familyness. Familyness, but we're going to skip a generation when it comes to your family's meanness. Meanness, all right. She said that she wants the kids to have her family's legs, and we're going to skip it when it comes to your waistline. I stuck to the body. Okay, before we get to our 25 point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer. You're going to Cabo San Lucas! Point bonus question for 25 points, gentlemen. In the bathroom, farthest from your bedroom, is the seat more often up or down? Let's go first. Couple number three. Mark and Nicole with five. 25 and give you 30. Get it right, and you'll zoom in the second place. Down. Down. She said it's down. All right. Couple number two. Rob and Dana with 10. 25 and give you 35. Tied for the lead, Rob, if you get it right. It's got to be down. Down. She says it's down. Couple number four. Robert and Colleen, you got 20, 25 to give you 45. Get it right, you're going to be in first place. I'm hoping it's down. Down, she said it's down. All right, couple number one, Lamont and Janae, you have 35. 
25 to give you a grand total of 60 points. Get it right, you go to Cabo San Lucas. What's your answer? My mother always taught me to leave the seat down. Down. She oh, says no. it is. It is. Oh, that means in couple number four.